Taste is an important function in survival. Different tastes can indicate different properties of food that can either help or hinder the consumer. We all know candy is sweet, lemons are sour, and chips are salty, but how do we know this? Taste buds. Each taste bud contains between 50 and 100 taste receptors, with a pore that opens to the tongue. When you chew your food, it releases tastins, which dissolve into your tongue and enter the taste buds through the pores. The surface of the taste bud contain microvilli, with receptors, ion channels, and afferent neurons. They manage to send the taste signal to where it needs to be, the brain. When you eat salty foods like french fries, the sodium ions enter the taste receptor cell through a sodium channel. This causes the voltage-gated calcium channels to open, allowing calcium to enter the cell. The flood of calcium causes the neurotransmitters to be released to the afferent neurons, letting your brain know that what it's tasting is salty. When you taste something sour, like a sip of lemonade on a hot day, it contains hydrogen ions, which blocks the potassium channel in your taste receptor cells. This prevents potassium from leaving the cell. This causes a depolarization that results in the opening of voltage-gated calcium channels. This then causes the neurotransmitters to release onto the afferent neuron, which then sends the signal to your brain, which processes the taste as sour. When you have a piece of candy, a sweet molecule binds to the sweet receptor on the taste receptor cell, causing a conformational change. This activates the G protein gustadin, which in turn activates adenylate cyclase. Adenylate cyclase then catalyzes the conversion of ATP to CAMP. The CAMP activates a protein kinesase that phosphofluorates and closes a potassium channel. This depolarization opens the calcium channel, causing a flood of calcium to enter the cell. This stimulates the release of neurotransmitters to the afferent neuron, allowing the brain to recognize this taste as sweet. When you drink your black coffee in the morning, a bitter molecule bonds to the bitter receptor. This then activates the G protein, transducin, which in turn activates the phospholipase C, also known as PLC. PLC then catalyzes the conversion of PIP2 into the messenger IP3. IP3 then causes the release of calcium from intracellular stores. The release of calcium causes the neurotransmitters to release into the afferent neurons where they send the brain a message that you have tasted something bitter. When you eat something savory, glutamate binds to the modified glutamate receptor. The receptor then undergoes a conformational change, activating an associated G protein. The G protein then activates phosphodiesterase that degrades CAMP into AMP. The decrease in CAMP are thought to trigger neurotransmitter release, although the precise pathways involved have not yet been identified. Taste receptors and invertebrates are located in sensilia. Like vertebrates, invertebrates can differentiate between the primary tastings, salty, sour, sweet, bitter, and umami. Their taste receptor cells are bipolar sensory neurons. Each gustatory neuron is only able to express a single receptor protein, unlike the taste receptors in mammals. The great differences between the mechanisms of taste in vertebrates and invertebrates suggest that the gustatory organs evolve separately over time.